Well, hello everyone. My name is Bricky and welcome to Fireside Bricky, the series where we have a lot of very long, no cuts, no changes, just regular ass commentary where we play any game. You know, it doesn't really matter the game. You can play whatever the fuck you want. I don't really give a shit. You know, you just do you. Just do you. you do you. That's the whole point, basically. And here we are with CSGO. Now, so, uh, CSGO, it has been an incredibly long time since I've played this game. And uh, it's, I don't really know what made me want to come back to it. Because I made a uh, like CSGO um, Fireside Bricky way back in the day. I just unlocked two achievements. Rifle Expert, AK Expert. That's weird. It has been a long time since i played this game. And it feels very strange coming back to it as well. You know... For a while, uh, I played a lot of CSGO in the beginning of the channel, but it, it's been like, fuck, I don't know how long. I've been, I don't remember exactly why I stopped playing CSGO. I think it was just because I didn't really enjoy it as much, or I, I like played so much of it to the point where, did that bot actually kill me? I'm fucking tilted. Um, to the point where I just got really tired of it and didn't really enjoy it as much. And obviously, when you overplay something, that happens quite often, but... I just didn't expect it to happen so quickly with this game. And so, because of that, that very much, I just kind of stopped playing it for a while. And now I'm back, kind of. Now, I did fire some Ricky on CSGO, like I said, way, 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 way back in the day. But that's the most I ever did of it. I never, like, actually did a whole bunch, uh, whole bunch of extra stuff since the past eight months, maybe? I don't know. See, the uh, CSGO was an original, a very important staple of my channel, but uh, ever since then, eh, no, it's been more video games I like to play. You know, when you, uh, that's one thing is when I get tired of a game, um, I generally make much uh, fewer videos of that game, which you know that's kind of how it works, I guess. You know, when you don't want to play a game, you don't make videos of the game. It's, I imagine that's just kind of how it works. It's a lot, it's a lot harder to fake happiness and enjoyment of a game you're playing than to actually have fun and enjoyment of the game you're playing. So, uh, I do warn you, I give you all a very hefty warning that uh, I am fucking wow that midair shot. I am fucking garbage at CSGO. I am absolutely awful at this video game. That if if you're a CSGO like veteran, you love yourself some CSGO, you're a you're a fucking global elite ass, bitchin' ass, getting millions of, of grills. I, I don't fucking know. If you're one of those people, you are probably cringing yourself into the fifth dimension right now. And I'm sorry, but that's just what I am. I am not good at this game. Never have been. Was a lot worse back then, I think. Actually, I don't know. My rank was, uh, what was the double AKs? MGE, I think. I think that was the rank M MGE. I think that was double AKs. Um, or was the one right below? Was that the one right after double AKs? I don't remember. Regardless, that was my rank back in the day, but that was my rank before the rank reset. And the rank reset, I think, put me into like early gold Nova. And after that, I was kind of like, fuck this shit, man. I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> That's why, actually. <laughs> It'd be kind of funny if that was the reason. I mean, in all honesty, like, I still, like, I think the game isn't bad, but they have had some crazy changes to this game since then. Okay, all right, I don't know. I may be, like, really old to this party, but what's the deal with the fucking gun sounds? Why are the gun sounds so different? Why have they ruined my op and my Desert Eagle? What? Why does everything sound different? I don't like it at all. It all sounds the same. I mean, granted, yes, real guns do sound very similar to each other. They're not, like, a whole lot different than they are in video games, but... Mmm, this is... I don't fucking know, man. I'm not a huge fan of this change. These gun sounds... I... I don't... I, I don't know, man. I, I, don't, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. This is a, this is a big turnoff for me. My, I am full flaccid right now. Well, anyway... Uh, enough about that. We're just going to go ahead and uh, play deathmatch for this kind of uh, fireside bricky because I don't know. There's a lot to talk about. I'm just kind of discussing things. And uh, deathmatch is a very, very simple game. But of course, uh, as you all know, fireside bricky is live commentary. So as you can tell, um, uh, this is all live and shit. But it's not. It's a lot more how you say relaxed when you play deathmatch. Who would have guessed that the uh, the non-competitive game mode where all you do is kill each other is uh, way more relaxed. Than the not the other one, who would have guessed? 
Oh damn. I just try I just pressed V to knife him and realized that you can't do that. It's not V. It's actually knife. But you know, um I remember back then oh what did I do? So so a little bit of a of a bricky history lesson right here. Um what uh what my old channel used to be a lot of was League of Legends and Counter Strike. Those were actually my two biggest games at the time. Um, a lot less now, of course, but League of Legends and Counter Strike were like the two. These were the games that I would play, and I started all off because of the story time videos. Of course, most of you know about the story time videos, and if you don't, well, I mean, feel free to check them out. I haven't made one in like a year because I haven't had any stories, and I've been trying to figure out a good way to do it that doesn't feel like a total ass project. But story times are kind of like an old bricky thing. I don't know if they'll be as good nowadays because I don't know if I'm the, if I like have the same mannerisms and speaking as I used to. I, I might, but I feel like I could. But um, that was, that was a much older bricky thing. Uh, I definitely did. I definitely do like the uh, how the videos came out. It's just God. I sounded like I was depressed as hell in those, some of those videos. But uh, CS:GO started off uh, with my first ever or second ever story time. My very early videos, well, early visible videos that. Had a lot of videos beforehand that I deleted because of copyright music, but, um, but uh, Nip 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 was the one. Uh, the Adventures of Nip Nip. That was uh, the first CS:GO story time video way back when, and a very popular one. I think I put it on the CS:GO subreddit. It got very popular very quickly, and incredibly fu uh, surprised that it did so well so soon. Um, it uh it really like made me want to make more CS:GO videos basically, and then of course that eventually pushed its way into uh, the Silver Guides um, videos, which were also something that I was very, had a very popular series of. Silver Guides were comedic satirical guides to different um, uh, CS:GO weapons. Uh, I've actually did I actually did a lot of them. Now I think about it, I have done a shitload. Of wow, this guy's name. I love my Minecraft GF with a picture of his Minecraft GF. Jesus fucking Christ. Um, but uh, I, I really did enjoy making some of those videos, those silver guys back in the day. Uh, they they're kind of weird. You had to be, you had to really like just kind of enjoy yourself when you watch those videos. Because if you didn't, you like well not just enjoying yourself, but. Um, actually, like, kind of, maybe not suspend disbelief, but relax. It was satire, and the satire was, it's very dumb and, like, super fucking meme and a little bit cringy. It was all those things at once, and so, if you weren't able to just kind of, like, be like, okay, this guy isn't being, like, being serious, he's just, just fucking memes, you know, you can really enjoy it, but only if you were able to do that. If you weren't able to do that and you got all kind of, I don't know, like, this is, this is wrong, this isn't right, this gun is actually great, what the fuck are you doing? Like, you, you won't, you won't enjoy yourself, that's just the simple fact. It's, uh, it's difficult for you to be able to enjoy something like that. You, you, know, you gotta, you gotta... Uh, for lack of a better word, you gotta loosen up when you watch Silver Guides. You gotta loosen it up. You can't have a tight asshole, you know? You can't get a tight asshole. But, then the first one I ever did was uh, AK-47, I think? AK-47, and then after that, moved into many other weapons. The other ones I haven't done, I think, were actually... Uh, I haven't done... I think I did the USP. Yeah, I did the USP. Uh, I, I, haven't, I haven't done the op. I haven't done the M4s. Uh, I did the Galil. I did the SSG. I did the AUG. I don't think I, don't think I, I didn't do the GSG-1 auto sniper. And uh, I didn't do... Uh, let me double check, double, double check my, um, my weapons. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, maybe? Don't... You know, I did yes. Yes, yes. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yeah, oh, hello, fuck, um, yeah, just the GSG-1, the M4s, and maybe, like, oh, and I don't think, I, I don't think I did the, um, one of the CT pistols, I forget which one it was, I did most of them, though, I did pretty much all of them, um, and it was, uh, it was a lot. I didn't. I wanted to do the knife. What a good ending shot! I did the knife, and the knife was a. 
Oh, sorry, I didn't do the knife. I wanted to do the knife as well as the Zeus, but I never got around to doing that. Uh, but, Gross, that was my biggest series back then. My little two to four kind of meme ass stupid videos. Fun. Definitely fun. But, uh, very dumb at the same time. Uh, that's kind of where CSGO kind of came from. I had a few CSGO with friends and fans, like, you know, just f games with friends commentary videos. Those were pretty fun, but overall, that was the CSGO part of my channel. Uh, I think CSGO died for me, not only one during the rank reset, but also because I was getting really tired for of the play in the game. I just played, I just overplayed it. I honestly did. I played way too much CSGO. Enjoyed myself a lot less, and because of that, was way less interested in the game. And uh, obviously, that's, that's just what happens. You know, you get tired of a game when you overplay it. Simple fact of video games. Um, oh, this guy's plugging his uh, Twitch name. How cute. You're dead. Um, but, anyhow. it's uh, it was It's probably one of the reasons why I stopped, I stopped playing it so much. Also, though, there was a little bit more to it. I think another reason was because um, I was getting so close to being done with the videos that I was really running out of ideas for the silver guides. I really wanted to finish them. I really did want to finish all of the guns, but I was just repeating myself. I was just started like saying the exact same shit over and over again in each of the guns, and it was just, it was just dumb. It just wasn't fun doing that. And because because of that, like I, I didn't, I was running out of material. Honestly, I was running out of material for those game uh, for those videos. And oh shit, I just love the Desert Eagle though. This is no source Desert Eagle, but still pretty damn pretty damn fun weapon. Ooh, that was cool. Uh, but that, that's probably one of the reasons to, did, I did. And then eventually, once the CS:GO scandal kind of happened. I think that that's that was when the when it all ended. That's when I just kind of put it all aside, mainly because uh, what I say mainly because like trading and stuff like that and skins were a really big deal. And now I barely hear anything about oh my god I got this knife in this crate. Oh my god I got this fucking red fucking stat track. Fucking I don't hear this shit at all anymore. I barely see it. And I, I thought originally that it could be because of the um, uh, because of the CS:GO law thing, and it might be because if now you can't like bet and gamble and trade them, that because of that the rarity, like awesomeness of the rarity, stuff like that, kind of gets diminished. But it just be, with that part gone, I was a little bit less interested in the game. Maybe it's because uh, part of it was um, was getting those cool rare weapons. But also another big thing was uh, streams. I eventually realized that because the game I don't like streaming games that I have to talk to the people with and like actually voice communication. And because of that, like I like being like a one person streamer. You know, I like to just play the games by myself and ha enjoy myself that way. But the issue was that I have to use communication, talk to my teammates, stuff for call outs, and that put me less focused on the chat. And also, uh, I couldn't do fan games with CSGO because I, if I would do it, I would get into fucking like like I get a bunch of European players and then and nothing against you European people don't worry about that but I'm just saying I would get like 240 ping because I'm in a European server and because of that my gameplay would look terrible and of course as the streamer you know if if my gameplay is like really massive ping and stuff it looks terrible and it's not good to stream so streaming CS:GO became less of a of a big deal less of a thing I wanted to do. And because of that, uh, I just stopped playing CSGO, really. Uh, though, I mean, getting back to it right now, I do remember why I like this game. The, for some reason, I don't think it's just me. It seems like it's it's not just me who seems to have stopped playing CSGO. I have seen very few of my friends also really into CSGO. Mine. You back the fuck up, kid. Um, I have also seen very few other friends who uh, play CS:GO now, both online and uh, like in, like my real life friends don't seem to play CS:GO anymore. And I don't know if it, the game is like is the game dying? Like I don't think it is. It's it's still really high on the Twitch charts, but could that be because like stream? It's just the streamers, you know? Like hey, they still play CS:GO, but people still come f uh, for the streamer kind of thing. Or 
I mean, one of the biggest CSGO streamers I remembered was like Summit 1G, but it seemed like he has kind of swapped to, or he did swap to Overwatch for a very long time. I don't know if he still plays Overwatch. I, I, I like to watch him, but I don't watch him a whole lot anymore because I just don't have time for it. That's just a time thing, you know? Um, so it's really, uh, it's really fucking difficult, man. I don't know. I don't know why, why it's, uh, why it seems less popular now, but it seems less popular. Maybe one of you could explain to me why. Please tell me it's the gun sounds. I love it if it was the gun sounds. I would laugh so hard if it was the gun sounds. I think it'd be funny shit. I mean, I, this is one of the things that I was kind of surprised about. You know, obviously, if you're watching my channel, you probably know, know or at least are a fan of League. Uh, I do play a lot of League games, and my channel is very League-focused. Uh, it's a little bit less League-focused than it used to be, which I'm very happy about because I like to have a variety of games. Uh, but it is still very league focused. I kind of like it's kind of interesting. I like brute forced my way uh, out of a league only YouTube channel. Normally, uh, most YouTubers find a way to go ahead and like uh, diversify their content after some um, after some gameplay and, and like like eventually slowly work their way into new games. I just fucking went for it. I was like, fuck this, I'm uploading different games. And so uh, for a while, I uploaded different games. You know. Bunch of different content, bunch of different games. Still have a very large league audience, but uh, it seems like either a lot of those league audience are people who also watch my non-league stuff, or they just, you know, um, don't like to stick around through the other games because I play a bunch of different games now. You know, I have all those vlogs. I do a bunch of um, Dead by Daylight stuff now. I've played a lot of... I have a bunch of different games. Like, I did my Fireside Bricky series with all the zombies maps, you know. Monday vlogs general or Monday gameplay vlogs generally have a different kind of uh, game in it every time. It's very uh, it's very enjoyable, you know. It's very nice to have all this different kind of content and um, and actually have people watch it, which is very very pleasing. Not only that, but Overwatch, thanks to the One Trick Guides, I have a very large Overwatch community, which at the same time could also be part of that league community, which is kind of sweet. But I like having both. I like having both. It makes me very happy. Um, I like having a very large, diverse group of people. I always considered my Fireside Bricky viewers to be like my OG viewers. Like I always have the, like ten to 15,000 uh, view range of people that seem to want to watch whatever I put out, regardless of what it is. And that's always super sweet because um, uh, it's having people watch Fireside Bricky. Uh, it's, very, it's, very, it's very nice thing. It's a very old series. Fireside Bricky is one of those series that has been old as fuck. Start off with uh, Chivalry, Medieval Warfare, into uh, Killing Floor 2 on release. And uh, moved in from there and consistent continued. That's It's an old series, man. It's an old series. Uh, but it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. You know, I was actually thinking to myself, uh, right now I'm fucking freezing. It's kind of weird. It's like, it's like 58 or 60 or something outside right now in California. And for me, that's like butt-ass cold. Like, this is not something I'm used to. This is so, uh, Fahrenheit, by the way, for those of you in Europe. Uh, I've been using the Deagle this entire game. I mean, maybe I should stop using the Deagle. It's my golden coil. Uh, but for me, I'm, like, not used to this. Like, I'm like, this is fucking terrifying. Uh, but, you know, I'm actually... As you know, I'm going... As some of you know, I'm going through a move. I mentioned this in my prior uh, Fireside Bricky on Sombra. Uh, I am going through a, a whole move and everything like that, and it's a lot of a uh, it's a lot of work. But we're almost done. We're almost done. I, I'm having to head back to my old house because I don't have Wi-Fi yet. Record in that old house, and then uh, immediately like and then like render and shit, and come back to my new house and then work more on furniture and shit, and go back again. And it's just it's just a lot of work. It's a lot of shit I gotta do. I mean, it's not not bad though. It's almost like I have I almost have like a home away from home thing because I kind of do, but. I'm still moving in everything to the new place and stuff, and we're almost done. We're almost done. Wi-Fi, I do believe, will be coming into my house on today. Yeah, today, Sunday. And because of that, I'm going to be able to uh, maybe start a little bit more work. And then after that, I'm going to actually have to... Uh, uh, what's it called? I'll wait for my desk to come. My desk is going to come in on Tuesday. And when it comes in on Tuesday, I can kind of... Uh, I work more on my actual new office because now I actually have an office. I actually have a legit office. I have my own space just for gaming and it's super fucking cool, man. I'm stoked as hell that I have my own little spot. And because of that, I uh, also plan on, well, obviously streaming and shit like that and that's new, new office. But 
Um, but I say, but I say, it is, uh, uh, oh shit, I lost, I lost my train of thought because I was shooting people. Um, but I say that's not until Tuesday. So I think in a sense, I'll probably be all ready to move in, give or take, mm, when's, or no, 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 uh, move in, but like, Back to normal video creation back on Wednesday, I think. Give or take. This guy's like bunny hopping for no reason. What the fuck are you doing? You, you bunny hopping while streaming? Who does that? Who the fuck does that? <laughs> Who does that anymore? What year is this? I don't even know anymore. Um, so, uh, oh. Fuck the silencer. We need to use the man's weapon. Hell yeah. Let me flaunt my testicles around here. They changed the sound of this gun too. Oh my god, everything's ruined. I just I deserve that death. I deserve that death. Ugh. But anyway, as I was saying, the um the new place is actually it's actually pretty neat, you know. I mean I mentioned last time, like it depends on where you live. You might see it as like really nice or, or not as nice. Uh for instance, if you live in like rural California uh, not California, rural America, or uh, like maybe Alabama or something like that, you might think the house is really small. Or if you live somewhere like a major city, you might think the house is extremely big. You know, it depends on where you live. I uh, For me, like in California, it's uh, it's expensive. It's not cheap in California, I'll be perfectly honest. And it's a nice house, but I mean, if I wanted to like move to Alabama, I could probably get something like twice the size because it's fucking California. But, you know, like, like I said, it's just not... That's not I really I can really do. Let's go, uh Eh, let's use this thing. Use the M249, it's always a fun weapon. Um But I I mean I love my place, don't, don't get me wrong. I fucking love my place. It's just got a lot of work needs to be done. Like for like one of the uh, things to start off with is the fact that uh the it has like no sound insulation whatsoever. And without sound insulation, we Okay, well that means like the walls are very thin is basically what I'm saying. So because of the walls being incredibly thin, uh, if anyone was to say bring a home a George Foreman gr fucking what the hell, dude? God damn it. Thank you. Um, if anyone was ever to bring home, say, a George Foreman grill and was perhaps uh, interested in giving them a bricking, uh, they would or not they everyone in the fucking house would hear that. Every single person would hear that. It is very thin walls. Extremely thin walls. And so I need to fix that a pronto because I do plan on getting some roommates. And as I'm sure y'all know, uh, people bring over grills. And grills, depending on the grill, can make noise. Yeah. Okay then. Uh, that is uh, that is indeed the the rub of this situation. Uh, besides that, though, there are some other things. One of the ones that actually pretty fucking terrify him. Uh, if the floorboards upstairs are a little bit creaky, or that's the best way I can explain it. And because of that, uh, when you walk upstairs, it creaks, and you can you can hear people like walking upstairs to downstairs. Oh right, I forgot you're not supposed to do that. I'm sorry. To the bitch way out. Um. You're not supposed to, like... Or not, damn it, that's wrong, wrong word I was going to say. Uh, the floorboards are very creaky, so when you walk upstairs, you can hear, like, oh, hey, someone's walking upstairs uh, from downstairs. But it also is the fact that because of that, like, when you walk up the stairs, specifically to this little part after the landing of the stairs, it creaks in a certain way to where it seems as if there's someone... Uh, downstairs moving about. And as being home alone, that shit's fucking terrifying, dude. That shit is so terrifying. You know. Sorry. Ooh, that was... That was fucking karma on my side. That was the biggest karma I've ever seen. Damn, I got karma so hard. Uh, anyway, though. The, um, the floorboards are a problem. There are some other things like uh, there's a big crack in my... Uh, I, I got a fireplace. It's actually kind of nice. Uh, there's a big crack in the chimney, though. And because of this, that means that uh, if I would ever try to light the fire, 
uh, a spark could fly up into this crack, which happens to be located uh, slightly close to the gas line and set my house on fire. And I do not want that, so I gotta get that crack fixed. That would also be a very good thing. And then there's the occasional other, uh, you know, more design preference things that I like changed. Like, I think, I actually think most of the houses have asbestos in it. Or the ceilings do, so I don't think I can put in actual lighting. Most of the rooms don't have any lights in it. So I want to put in some, like, recessed lighting. I need to either scrape the asbestos or have some guy just fucking do it. And that's kind of a little bit unethical. But I might do it anyway. We'll see. Depends on the lighting guy. Uh, I need some lighting for my office, especially, so... I can't just do it with, like, a fucking lamp. I just can't see anything in that place. I don't know. I'll have to see. Uh, some rooms have lighting, like the master bedroom has lighting. Uh, master bedroom is kind of like, oh my god, okay, so, like, for the past, like, two, three years, I've been sleeping on the thing about a twin-size bed. Twin-size bed being, like, six foot two, six foot, like, one or something. I'm six foot three, uh, for those of you who don't know. And I just, my fucking feet just hang off the edge of the bed every single time. Every single time, they just, like, they hang off the bed, and it's like... It's so small for me. So I went out to Costco and bought myself a California king size mattress. One of those like memory foam mattresses. So they're pretty damn fucking awesome. Uh, very comfortable. Ow. Uh, but with that mattress, like if you don't know, I don't know if, I doubt California king is just a uh, California thing. I'm pretty sure it's just a, it's just a style of mattress. Uh, California king is a little bit skinnier, a little bit longer. Uh, because us in California are known to be uh, very, uh, you know, Good looking, handsome motherfuckers. So we're tall and skinny. Um, but the uh, <laughs> uh but um, uh, it's it's so nice though. Oh, I have my mic. Sorry about that. I, it's so incredibly nice because thanks to that actual bed, I can just sprawl myself out solo on a king bed and actually sleep in a king bed for the first time ever in my life that isn't in a hotel room. And God damn it, is it worth it? Now I'm I'm trashy as fuck right now. It's it's on the, it's on the uh, the floor of my room. I, I decide to spend more money on the mattress than on the actual bed sp uh, spring or or box frame or um, headboard. So there isn't any kind of like thing holding it up. It's just it's just on the floor. But God damn, is it comfortable? God damn, am I okay with it? I should start trying to, uh, oh no, my swag perforated. Hey, stop it. Ow. Now, what if that, that Lol Polo guy that was trying to knife me earlier, his picture is of Genji, so coincidence? I think not. The, um, no, uh, like I said, yeah, that's anyway, that's, uh, it's, it's nice having my own, like, office and room and things like that, even though it's not done. Just got finished painted, painting. It's, like, all pure bright white which normally is considered a poor thing but i'm going to be able to have an accent color and a bunch of different uh crazy knickknacks all over the place as my background so i think it's going to look pretty damn good i'm excited i also need to get some of that uh sound foam and that black and blue like sound foam or black and red sound foam or whatever color sound foam it happens to be uh i need to do that to uh, soundproof a little bit of the room Hopefully it'll work out. I, once I uh, insulate the rooms, it should be a lot better. Once I get the money to do that, because that is not cheap. Adding lighting, insulating the rooms. God, replacing the floorboards. God, fucking damn, dude. House costs sat up. I don't even think about trying to do the bathroom. God, bathrooms and kitchens are like the worst. They're so expensive. I'm going to attempt that shit for a while. Hopefully the YouTube channel and stuff keeps on trucking and we can work out some cool shit. Honestly, if I, once I get roommates, I'm obviously going to charge rent, and I'm going to probably use that rent money in order to, uh... Oh, hello there. Goodbye. Um, I'm going to use that rent money to go ahead and, uh, like, pay for probably additions to the place. Sign uh, insulation is the big one, though. It's kind of interesting, because when you walk up the stairs, like, you take a right, it's all four uh, separate rooms, all one after the other. Master at the end... And on the other end is like a bathroom and the guest room, first bedroom, second bedroom, and then the third bedroom, which is my office, and then uh, my the master. So because of that, um, even though even though some of the bedrooms are actually very small, 
it seems like a lot of bedrooms. And it's not bad. I mean, it's it's four bedroom place, but they are pretty small sometimes. The the downstairs is decently small. It's the square footage isn't like super high. Um but regardless, I keep I keep getting off track. This is Fireside Bricky, man. I mentioned getting off track all the time. Uh the um it goes like it's gonna be my buddy and his girlfriend, so already soundproofing shit. Uh, buddy and his girlfriend on the far right hand side, uh, which is the first guest room, and then the second one is gonna go to my another buddy who is single, but he could always bring someone back. And then it comes to my office, and then comes my uh, uh, my master. I'm just gonna pretty much pull like the "this is my house, do as I say" kind of thing most of the time, because, well, that it is. My name's on the on the fucking mortgage, but I'm probably gonna tell him like, hey, if I'm streaming, don't don't start fucking, all right? If I'm if I'm streaming shit, stop. Like, don't don't be banging each other. And if you are banging each other, then like, hopefully the girl's into the the things that sh just to shut her up, <laughs> you know. Hopefully she's into that because I can't be having a bunch of moaning in the background in the background of my streams. Bricky got a pentakill. Just fucking moaning sounds in the background. I don't know, man. Find a way. Find a way to keep them quiet. And or oh god, I'll watch you be like my my guy, my 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 roommate guy friend is the loud one. He's just like like what, what's that one video the loudest uh, orgasm ever? <laughs> that that what? I look, I normally I wouldn't say look that shit up, but look that shit up. It's so fucking hilarious. Who are you? Stop it! Thank you. It's like God. This person had hit so many bullets. I'm just bad. No. Ow. More, uh... That was, that was more karma. It's got, it's got a lot of, uh... It's got a lot of shit that needs to be done. That, that sound insulation is the big one. Also, uh, thicker doors. Because... They, you can just, like, spill out into the hallway. Ugh. Oh, I, I'm not sure how many of you follow me on Twitter. Because if you don't follow me on Twitter, you should, you should follow me on Twitter. But... Um, it's, uh, pretty damn fun to go ahead and, how you say, uh, look through, like, a fridge, like, a new fridge of someone who just moved out. Because a new fridge is, uh, very, <laughs> it's very sparse and strange what you have in a fridge to start off with. Like, for instance, my fridge right now, if I can recall correctly, because I'm not currently at home, is two gallons of milk, a gallon of orange juice, a almost finished gallon of Arnold Palmer, Arizona Arnold Palmer, uh, ketchup and mustard, but no ketchup and mustard to put anything on, just ketchup and mustard, um, and then a, a appetizer platter of shrimp, um, bell pepper, stuffed bell peppers from Costco. Uh, I wanna I wanna use that one weapon with the stuff and the yeah swag seven. Um, shit. Oh, hi. Um, and then, le what else is there? Um, leftover Italian food, leftover gravy and cranberry sauce from uh, Thanksgiving, but no, like, turkey to put it on. And then apples, strawberries, um, eh. apple, strawberries, and then in the freezer... The freezer has uh, Otter Pops, Costco muffins, bread, Pop-Tarts, and fucking uh, ice. And oh, an ice and then one more thing. Oh, coconut, like, icicle pops. So that that's my that's my fridge, all right. I've been thinking, Bricky, why the fuck do you have bread and Pop-Tarts in your fr uh, freezer? Well, bread goes in there because it doesn't spoil as fast. So if I don't, I'm only one person. If I don't eat all that bread immediately, then... Well, we got a problem, and uh, if uh, and also for the pop tarts, if you've ever had chocolate fudge pop tarts frozen, they're fucking godly. They are so tasty. So give it a shot. Any of the uh, the Christmas flavored ones or the uh, heavy chocolate ones are pretty good. S'mores is also pretty good, but let's be fucking real. S'mores pop tarts are good anywhere and everywhere. They're fantastic. I think I might have some of my friends come over and do some drinking tonight. Uh, it's like a little bit of a mini housewarming party. I want to have like a real housewarming party. Yeah, I want to get wait till I actually have a fucking couch. Oh yeah. So one of my one of my biggest like 
not bucket list things, but one of my biggest goals for the new house was like, I want to buy a TV, but a big TV. A big fucking TV. And I want to play games on this big fucking TV and, and enjoy myself like that way. So what I did is I bought myself a big fucking TV. And I, I mean, it was a it was a Black Friday sale deal, so it didn't cost me too much. It wasn't cheap though. Um, it was it's a 65 inch I think 4K like curved TV. It's so great. It's the coolest thing. But because I bought this fucking TV, I didn't have enough money to buy a couch, so I don't have a couch to sit in the TV with. So all I have is a little ottoman. My TV, and the TV stand I bought from Ikea that was on sale. So, I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't want to brag about my new house or anything like that, because, I mean, it's just, I mean, it's fun and everything, but I, I'm doing my very best to, like, you know, stay not braggy. I want to be as uh, relatable as I can, and, you know, I mean, I, I still consider, like, expensive dinners expensive and shit like that, you know? I'm still like, can we go somewhere cheaper, like a $20 bill? Um... Hell, even a ten dollar bill depends on how much I need to save. Depends on depends on the whole thing. I'm not like being trying to be gluttonous or anything, but I really wanted a big fucking TV, and I've, I got my big fucking TV, and I'm so excited. You know, for once, I may actually give in and buy a Wii U and play Smash, like on a big fucking TV. I like call, I like calling it big fucking. I don't know, like it's it's one of those like little pleasures or or, or big pleasures, but. You know, I mean, we all have our own little thing that we want, you know, like, and one of the things for me was always like, I want a big ass TV. Like, I, I just, I, I'm, I am very capitalist. I am extremely um, material. I'm a very material person. I like stuff. Stuff is awesome, man. People always talk about like, oh no, material possession is bad. Like, no, fuck that, man. Material possession is fucking awesome. I love stuff. I love, you know, you probably all think the same thing about your computers. Hey man, you want to get some some double 1080 like TI fucking graphics card, 64 gigabytes of RAM, SLI with a you know a 4.9 hertz goddamn processor that hasn't even been overclocked yet with you know three terabytes of SSD storage. You want that shit? Of course you want that shit. That shit sounds awesome. Whether or not, whether or not you can afford that shit is a whole new thing. I was finally able to afford my big fucking TV, and so I'm stoked. You know, it's like it's like small pleasures. That's why people buy nice cars and stuff. I'm not gonna buy a nice car anytime soon. I love my car. I love my car. It's it's a Toyota Rav4 2007. It's a great car. It's done it's done great things for me. It's it's a fine fine machine. I like it. It works well. All I gotta do is put gas into the thing, and it, it goes. It runs and. It does what I need it to do, honestly, and it makes me happy. So that's all you really need when it comes to a car, you know? Especially especially as like a, a college student or something like that. Like, if you're a college student, don't get the newest, coolest car. Get a car that you can just, just like stick gas into it and just constantly pour gas into the fucking thing. Uh, not, not saying get bad mileage, but I'm saying like, you know, like needs like almost zero upkeep, just runs. For like 20 years or something. And all you got to do is buy gas for the thing. Maybe occasionally take it in for service and get an oil change in the usual. But that that's it, you know. That's all you do. Change the tires every so often. I'm bad. Sorry, Supreme suck. That was silly. That, that, that's the kind of thing you want for a, for a car like that. I can see it. I, I can see it. That's what's that's important to, to me, at least, you know, it's like, that's what I care about with my car. Oh, right, I got, I got the Scar 20 Splash Jam. Splash. You know, it's kind of interesting, I played, um, on a totally unrelated note, the, uh, unrelated to the house, everything like that. Actually, one more thing on the house. I'm saying myself, because that, that whole, like, Smash thing, like I said, I don't, I don't like Nintendo a whole lot, personally, I don't very much like their games a whole lot, and I don't like supporting them as a company because they have that YouTube thing where they won't let you put anything on their on YouTube, any of their own games, that seems really selfish and annoying. So I'm kind of, kind of don't like them. Uh, but Smash is of course a game that is fun almost all the time. I, I do have, I do have my problem with the Smash community, specifically the Melee community, because the Melee community is toxic as fuck. And, and are just real assholes. I mean, they got a lot of passion, I'll give them that, but God, they're assholes. And I don't know about you, but, you know, for a while, I, I don't know, like, like, Smash feels the same, dude. 
Like every iteration of Smash, I mean, there are their differences, but Smash, the only major leap I remember was the Smash original. The original Smash, like just Super Smash Bros. on the N64 was its own thing. But past that, Melee, Brawl, and uh, 4 all seem to look rather similar to each other. Now, I mean, 4 does have some decent graphics and everything compared to Melee, but they all seem to look and run similarly and feel the same. To, I mean, to me, like, I mean, a Melee player probably like lynch me because of that, but I just... They don't seem anything special from each other. They don't look very special. The only thing I care about is new characters, and there's only like some of those, you know. It's... This, this doesn't feel very different. I mean, people get so pissed off when certain games don't innovate enough, and Smash has been the same fucking formula for, like, a decade. You know, I'd... I'd, I'd be less, like, annoyed if there was a Smash every year. But it's a smash every console, like, and it still doesn't change. Maybe, maybe it's like the if it's don't if it's not broke, don't fix it kind of idea, which I can I can get behind that. I can understand that. It's just, eh. When people, when people sing the game's praise to high heaven when it really hasn't changed much at all, eh, I don't know. It's a little bit meh. But I do enjoy the game itself. Like I enjoy the formula of the game, even though nothing much has changed. Uh, and uh, I like. I do like playing it sometimes with friends, only with friends, at like the same spot, like a land party. Uh, my my main in Smash Four is uh, Samus, uh, regular Samus, not Zero Suit. I actually prefer regular Samus. I know, rare. Not many people play regular Samus, but I like her a lot. She's a lot of fun. I got used to her from playing Melee. I like Zero Suit from Brawl, but apparently everyone fucking hates Brawl. I guess it's like the slowest Smash. It's understandable. I like Smash Four a lot. Probably my favorite Smash so far. Really enjoy Smash 4. Actually, quite a lot of fun. Um, but, you know, it's uh, I don't, I, not worth a Wii U for me, though. Maybe now, like, Black Friday deals will pick one up. Practice it a little bit, invite some friends over. We I mean, we finally got a time where I actually have, we actually, like, have a house to play games at and Smash at. And, like, a bunch of other shit. Like, I, my buddy brought his PS4 earlier and we played, uh, we played Bloodborne. I played a little bit of Bloodborne. I fought some guy, I, I attacked some guy with, like, a big sack. And like really long claws. My buddy kept on saying wickedy wacky to my sack. I don't I don't know who that is. He's got a big sack though. Uh, I probably still need to do my Bloodborne playthrough, but it's just like, oh, there's a sack guy. Hello, sack guy. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Anyway. Uh, video's about to be done with. This was a fireside bricky on uh, Counter-Strike. Very, very random, just regular ass video talking about shit. You know, life. CSGO, video games, a little, you know, the usual. This is what Fireside Bricky is. So Fireside Bricky has always been. And it's, uh, it's fun, you know? Uh, CSGO is, uh, still not really my thing right now. Kind of nice to, just to relax and play it like this, but overall, not necessarily my favorite game still. But, uh, maybe I'll get back into it later on. If you can, comment below with why CSGO seems to be declining. I'd like to, what the fuck is a Gamma 2 case? I have no idea what that is. Huh. Anyway, um, I was curious what's, what if CSGO was on the decline, if that's just a, a myth. I'm just kind of curious. Anyway, if you watched all the way to the end of the video, thank you so much. And if you could do a little bit of a comment in all caps, type smoke B if you watched all the way through. All right, my name is Bricky. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.